Welcome to Gassy Creek Gallery where we feature the woodwork of John Hain. He does what's called intarsia, where he takes the different woods and creates the pictures with it. He does wildlife. And the woods that he works with are all local Oregon woods. Uh, he doesn't use any dyes or stains on any of his pieces. So it just has the grain of the wood and the color of the wood. Each piece is finished with a cabinet grade uh, wood backing. So they all stay together and hang for years and years. And he finishes it with a hard wax. Here we have the bald eagle catching his fish. This is made out of black walnut and the fish is made out of maple and then he used a white cedar for the tail and the head and the yellow is called cascara. Jake Boomer from Myrtle Creek does the Myrtlewood bolts. Jake's got the tools. He's got a really fancy lathe. And his work is perfect. He makes the plates, so we have the three sizes of the plates. He uses tongue oil to finish his bowls and plates. We have a local potter called Doug Miller, and he has won some awards for his pottery. His designs are very unique. He's got all the different textures and colors. I love this bowl. If you look inside, how it's he's brought all three together to form the triangle in the middle. I love his style. Very affordable pottery. Mel Murray's pastels are really exciting. These are of the Sutherland Golf Course, right up by his house. So he uses the bright pastels and just captures the area really well. Right outside your window. The Celtic Knot Jewelry is all handmade by a woman named Diane Ayers and she gets all of her beads, the silver work, from from a woman in Wales. They're all handmade and they all have the Celtic knots on them. The pendant with the dragon and the, and the stone in it, the man that makes those, makes the stone into it. He says if you lose the stone, you've lost the whole pendant. It's just all one piece. It's incredible how she does the knotting. Um, very unique, one of a kind, handmade. Uh, the watercolors by Georgianne Donovan. She does watercolors along with oils and this is called Summer Showers. This giraffe was made with an interesting technique called Saran Wrap where she put her primary colors on and then covered it with Saran Wrap and had it kind of uh, meld together. And when she took the Saran Wrap off, she looked at it to see and what she saw was this giraffe. So she penciled in the giraffe and, and finished the picture. So she doesn't always start with something in mind. She actually lets the paint uh, take her, which I think is very, very interesting. Um, she doesn't work off of a picture or anything. She just paints freehand, free flow. And this one is called A Break in the Storm, depiction of sailing. 
I, you can just feel the wind and the rain when you look at this picture. She's captured that storm. This is our photographer, Colleen Hanks. She specializes in doing photo collages. She takes the pictures, puts them on her computer, and enhances them and creates these beautiful collages. She's done several collages for vineyards with the grapes. And this is all abalone shells that have been computer enhanced. Absolutely gorgeous when the light hits it, it just has so many colors. But the favorite that I have is the Ponderosa Pine. Uh, one, because I'm partial to the different woods, but two, because of the way it's laid out. Uh, with small cones in the middle and the colors. I just love that one. That one. 